Hi everybody, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online. Thank you so much for joining me to for today's video, which is all focused on our core. So I've got some great exercises, three in particular, that you can do right in the kitchen. And I would suggest doing these exercises uh, when you are maybe in the middle of cooking, maybe you're um, looking for a snack. And instead of snacking on food, I would encourage you to take a five minute break and snack on exercise. All right, so let's get going. In order to warm up, we're gonna be standing with your legs a little uh, apart, and we're just gonna start with a little rotation. So twisting at your waist, warming up those muscles in our core, stretching our hips as well, breathing in and out. And these exercises are really great if you are experiencing some back pain. Um, I have a client who has a hard time activating his core because his back is a lot stronger. So this is a really good video to do if you find that you have back pain or that you pull muscles in your back or you just have a hard time really getting those core muscles engaged. All right, let's do one more stretch before we get started into our top three. Let's add a stretch. So reach overhead, feeling a nice stretch down the side of your body. Now, if you have any shoulder limitations, you can also reach um, below your shoulders. Still do that lean. This is where we'll feel that stretch in the side of your body. Good, two more. Awesome, and one more. All right, perfect. So our very first one we're going to do is very, very simple, but very important. So we're gonna place your hands right on your hips. And something I find quite often, you may notice this in yourself, is sometimes we walk around with bad posture. And not only bad posture, but our, our core is not fully engaged. So we kind of have a little dip in our bum. So our bum kind of like goes up and we kind of are walking around like this. This may be a little exaggerated, but what our, the point is, is we want to be rotating your hips down in order to have your hips below you, and that will in turn help with your posture as well. So that being said, I want you to place your hands right on your hips, kind of on your core as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice rotating in. So we're gonna be practicing bringing it in. So as we do, we're gonna suck it in, tighten up that core, and then we're gonna relax back. So we're, I call it um, leveling out the cup. So we can pretend you have a cup here and we're gonna be leveling it out, having it nice and straight so that your, the water doesn't fall out, drip out of that cup. All right, so here we go. Let's rotate under, it's just a little motion. So we're taking it back and then pulling it under, tightening up that core at the same time. All right, so this is good practice to just get the core muscles engaged and practice using them. All right, now I want you to comment below if you are finding that as you do this one, you notice that your core tightens up and you automatically start standing a little bit straighter, because I do find that's the case. And this is a really simple exercise you can do throughout the day. And if you are at a grocery store, you can even practice doing this one, because it's not very obvious too. So if you're waiting in line for your groceries, just do these little, little gentle movement here. You may find it's easier to stand as well when we're fully engaging that core. All right, let's do two more here. Good, and one more time. All right, excellent. So we're gonna maintain that core, and what we'll do now is we're gonna be doing a crossover. So lift your knees, and we're going to be reaching for your opposite knee. So you can choose to have your knees a little bit lower, reach down, but remember that posture. So we wanna be standing tall the whole time. Or alternatively, if you're feeling like this one is really good, you can choose to bring your elbow towards that opposite knee. All right, so make sure we're tightening up that core and really rotating in, breathing in and out. If it's too intense with the elbows, Remember, you can always move back to your hand. And additionally, if you're finding your balance is a bit off, you can hold on to something. 
So if you have a kitchen chair handy, that's always a good option. Two and one. All right, good, last one. We're going to be bringing your hands towards your ears, not quite touching, and we're gonna be doing a two-in-one exercise here. So again, we wanna rotate down, tighten up that core, and we're gonna be starting by twisting at your waist. So side, center, and side. Now just watch that your hips aren't the ones that are moving, but it's your waist, it's your core. So try to keep those hips facing forwards the whole time. All right, so let's do it again. Let's turn to the side. You may not be able to go quite as far. That's okay. Other side, Looking the core. And then here's the second add-on. We're going to be leaning to the side. Side bend, and the other way, side bend. All right, so we'll put it together here. So side twisting, twisting, side bend, and side bend. There we go. Now, if you have osteoporosis, I want to mention this, or any back issues, you may want to be very careful and or avoid this one. So I will be doing some other videos in the future for people with arthritis um, and osteoporosis, more importantly. Um, so just be aware because you shouldn't be doing these bend or twists if you have osteoporosis. All right, so taking it side to side and twisting, tightening up that core. Just like someone is tightening up a corset, it's that same motion, pulling it in. All right, so as you do this one, you should feel down the side of your body. It's working, it's working. Good. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I have lots of new videos coming out every single week and I'm taking requests. So if there are specific ones that you want, make sure to comment below. And as well, I'm doing a 14 day leg challenge and I have a special uh, document that you can download so you can track your progress over the next 14 days. So be sure to check in the comment section. I'll send a link there and it's a really good challenge to add to an upper body or a core workout like we're doing today. All right, let's do one more. I'm really feeling that movement. I'm feeling my body working. So let me know in the comment section below where you're watching from and if you're feeling that core working. Doesn't have to be a huge motion. As long as we're engaging, that can really make a difference. All right, so let's end here. We'll take a deep breath in, reach your arms back, and then breathe out, give yourself a hug. Do three more. And two, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Last one here. Good, and give yourself a pat on your back. Well done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope your core is feeling a little bit stronger. Remember these tips, especially to rotate down so we can be engaging our core more to relieve back pain and to be able to stand a lot straighter with great posture as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye-bye.